What we're talking about today is the creation of sustainable value in business and finance. And we're exploring how the definition of value and values might evolve uh, in order to create a sustainable future and in order to change the, some of the fundamental assumptions behind what drives business, profit, value in both the business and the financial world. What we expect is bringing a new method to think about business in terms of a you know, cultural approach, not so much um, number-based, but also very much based on stories people know, stories people share, and very characteristic habits and qualities of um, characters and energies, emotions, bring to the whole topic. So we might trigger also some other ideas of what business and finance can be in the future. Futures literacy to me means the ability to challenge uh, our fundamental assumptions that actually imprison us uh, in a projection of what we've done before. And this is the ability, it's freedom really. It's the freedom to think otherwise, to be creative, uh, to, as Martin just said, imagine something different, uh, fundamentally different that comes maybe from the heart as well and not just from the head. Future literacy is accessible to everyone who is interested into the future and also good storytelling because it's a lot about storytelling and the power of stories and, and narrations and, and coming together. I think it's so important um, in these times that we have a shared storytelling so that people start to tell each other about the future and they share the underlying values. I very much hope that futures literacy will spread to other places beyond UNESCO and in fact UNESCO is already doing a lot to do that uh, because I think the world today desperately needs uh, futures literacy, this ability to use the future to think differently about the present and therefore create a new future. So yes, absolutely, and, and uh, uh, because it's not complicated, because it's not something that's you know academic or abstruse, it's something that can be and should be uh, spread as widely as possible.